Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a two balloon panda bear. This is a shape that I came up with years ago because I could not find a good, easy panda bear tutorial. They were all very difficult because of the coloring on a panda. I would still consider this a relatively difficult shape, not for beginners, but I do believe out of all the panda bear tutorials out there, this is one of the easiest. As usual, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Some supplies you're going to need are your handy dandy balloon and two 260 size balloon twisting balloons. These are Kugel brand balloons. I like them way better than Qualitex for a lot of reasons. They're slightly longer, which I like because sometimes I need just a little bit of extra balloon to complete my shapes. They're cheaper. They arrive to my house faster. They don't come damaged, unlike a lot of Qualitex balloons that I've ordered. And they're just as durable as some of the other mainstream balloon twisting brands. I highly recommend Kugel balloons, but as always, check them out for yourself to see if it's something that you prefer. Links are in the description for balloon twisting balloons and balloon inflator. Grab your supplies and let's get started. For this shape, you are going to need to know the quick break. So head back to my balloon twisting basics video or to my tutorial for the quick break. If you do not know that already, we're going to start by inflating our white balloon about halfway. I'd say leave at least a five finger length tail. We're going to end up quick breaking this, but leave yourself a good tail so that we have room to twist the balloon. I'm going to leave about five finger lengths. Before we start twisting, give your balloon a good squeeze to soften the balloon and disperse the air evenly. We're gonna make a section about four to five inches long. We'll make another section that's about three to four inches long, a little bit smaller than your first one. Now we're going to make another section the same size as your second section here and make a third section the same size as your second and third sections. Now we've got four sections. We are going to connect them to make a triangle with our last three sections so that our first section is sticking out. This is going to be the panda bear head and this will end up being the nose, but I'll show you that in a little bit. This is going to be the length of the panda bear's body, so about four inches. Next, we are going to stick the rest of our balloon through this triangle, and we're gonna make a twist to connect it with this twist in here. So what I'm going to do is put pressure on this balloon and with my thumb on this twist over here and twist around the remainder of my balloon to get a twist caught in this joint right here. Now I'm going to make a section that's the same size as the top of this head here. And I'm going to connect these two twists into a joint by putting this balloon around the front, sticking it through this triangle and pulling this twist so that it gets connected on this twist. Next, I'm going to make a section the same size as this longer section that's the panda bear's back. And to connect this into this twist, I'm going to stick it through this section, pull it out and connect these two twists. And this is the back of the panda bear's body, so I'm going to make a one inch bubble and turn it into an ear twist for the tail. Now I have a little bit of extra balloon back here. I'm not going to quick break it quite yet, just in case I end up using it for something else to fill in some space in here. So we'll leave this for now. What we're going to do with this front section is flip it into the body right here. And we wanna stick the nozzle out the front of this triangle here. So we don't wanna pull the entire section through but I just want to bend it and stick out just like probably an inch. So this is the panda bear body without the black sections. So now let's inflate our black balloon, probably only six inches. We're gonna make these ears first and do a quick break and then use the rest of that black balloon to make the arms and legs. So for this first part that we're going to add, this is going to be the panda bear ears, which are black. I'm going to make a one inch bubble and make it an ear twist. And I want this ear twist connected right in this joint right here. So what I'm going to do is stick this through the back of the body where I have a little bit more room. And then slowly slide my black balloon up into this twist.
Now we're going to flatten this black balloon and stick it in between these top two sections so that we can start twisting on this side of the head. So essentially, I'm just squeezing all of the air out and sticking it in between these white pieces. Once I get all the way to this other side, I'm gonna put a finger right here to hold it against this joint, and I'm going to wrap this black balloon around this part of the panda body. From here, we're going to make a one inch bubble and an ear twist, and then quick break the rest. I'm going to do a quick break and with whatever I have left here, I'm going to just wrap it around not only the ear, but I'm going to wrap it around this very tight section in here. I'm going to wrap it around the side of this body. I'm just going to wrap it around this joint in every direction possible so that I don't have to tie it off. With the rest of my black balloon, I'm going to inflate it, leaving about a three finger length tail. With this black balloon, I'm going to hold it against the back of this panda head and wrap it around the front of the head. And I'm going to pull it tight before I make my twist and that will pull these back sections together. So it should look something like this. And I'm gonna make this pretty tight. I don't wanna make it loose or it's gonna come off pretty easy. So I'm going to really kind of pull these white sections together by lassoing them with this black balloon. Once I've pulled it pretty tight, I'm going to hold the nozzle and put pressure right here and twist this black balloon to make a joint. To lock this joint in place, I'm going to stick this nozzle through the black loop that I just made and pull it out the other side. Now this next part is just going to take a little bit of time for you to find the proportions that you're going to use for your front and back legs. Right now, I think this is a great time to stick this leftover white balloon inside the body to just fill out a little bit more space in here where I can kind of see through it. What we're going to end up doing is wrapping the rest of this black balloon around the tail, the ear twist back here, and connecting the rest of this tail in with this black joint down here. I don't quite have enough balloon to do that unless I pull it pretty tight. So I'm going to squeeze it to give myself a little bit of extra balloon, still leaving a little bit of tail at the end. So I'm gonna grab just the tail, wrap it around this ear twist. Pull it tight so that it gets caught in this joint and it's not gonna slip off the back. And we're going to tie our tail of our balloon to this end of the scrap right here, the nozzle essentially uh, of our black balloon. We're going to need to do a double knot here. And here is your panda shape where both the arms and legs are connected here in the middle. This is the easiest method of doing this. I'm about to show you the harder method where your front legs and your back legs are independent of each other and not connected in the middle. So if you want your front legs and back legs to be independent, which I think looks a little bit better, but it does take more time. It's the same thing in the beginning where you wrap the black balloon around and make the front legs. But after you've locked this in place, you are going to do a quick break and deflate the rest of your balloon. If you have another way of keeping the air in it and tying this off at the same time, feel free. But uh, most of the time I just deflate it. Sometimes I'll ask a kid to just hang on to it super tight to keep the air in it. But we really don't want the air to come out of these front legs. So we're going to do a double knot with the nozzle and the piece that we just broke off. And if possible, twist it around so that the nozzle or this knot is kind of inside the balloon as opposed to sticking out. It just makes it look a little bit better. Now reinflate the rest of your black balloon. And we are going to do the same method of wrapping it around, but we're gonna wrap it around this ear twisted tail back here. Before I do this, I'm going to squeeze this balloon to disperse the air a little bit. 
This is going to make it easier for this balloon to stay between the tail and the body. So I basically want to make a loop around this ear twist, making sure that it's really tight. I'm lassoing it to just kind of make sure that it hangs on. We'll make a twist. Lock it in place by putting the nozzle through the loop. Sometimes this will be a perfect length where you can just tie the tail of the balloon to the nozzle. For me, I've got a little bit of extra because I used a brand new black balloon to just show you this method. So I'm going to break it off and then do a double knot here to make sure that it stays in place. Chances are this is going to fall off while you're making this double knot. It's not a big deal. You can always put it right back on. And this is likely to come off because it's not attached to anything. So if you want, you can put some balloon glue dots in between uh, this black piece and the white body and it will stick there in place. These are like little circular dots that you can use to post balloons or posters on the wall. If you don't wanna do that, another way to keep these back legs in place a little bit more securely is to pull out the tail and push down the black part in between the tail and the body. You can kind of see that I just wedged it in there a little bit. This is your more advanced balloon panda where you have the separated front arms and back legs. To complete this shape, you definitely need to do the Sharpie art in the shape of panda eyes. This is basically just two diagonal ovals uh, going in towards the top of the head. And we can make smaller circles in here for the panda eyes and color in that darker part of the panda face shading. And here you have your advanced two balloon panda bear. If you hung on for this long, kudos to you because this is not an easy shape. Keep practicing, you're going to get the proportions and the dimensions better every time that you do this. The more that you make this shape, you may even find easier ways to connect everything together. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Don't forget to check out some of my other balloon twisting, balloon decorating, music demos, adventures from when I lived in Hawaii, business and finance tips, and anything else that I find helpful and entertaining. Subscribe for new videos every week. Let me know in the comments below if there's a balloon animal or shape that you don't see on my channel that you'd like me to try. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm Joey. I'll see you next time.